On this farmland in the outskirts of Mexico City, a problematic issue facing Mexican athletes begins here, the consumption of clambuterol via tainted meat. This is the business of cattle doping. Clambuterol was originally developed for the treatment of animals with respiratory issues. It was considered unsafe by health experts due to its potential side effects, which include heart palpitations, tremors, and nervousness, and was eventually banned. But it's being used for a very different purpose. El uso del clenbuterol es para agilizar la, la engorda. Entonces, menos tiempo, más recurso. The process begins at the cattle's consumption. Clenbuterol is a pill that is pulverized and then added to the animal's food in a dosage of 10 micrograms per kilogram per cow for two to three months. This is known as the fattening period, and it's not regulated by authorities. The average person is not affected by this. But for athletes who are regularly tested, any trace of clenbuterol, a banned substance, can result in penalization. Several Mexican athletes have tested positive for the substance in recent years. The most famous of them all, Saul Canelo Alvarez, who had 0 0.06 nanograms of clenbuterol in his system. I was eating in restaurants, doing my life in normal in Guadalajara. I got Bada three times in a semana. Me hice las pruebas normal. A los dos o tres días me habla gente de Golden Boy. Saúl, saliste positivo en una prueba de, de Bada. Entonces, no sabía por dónde. O sea, dije, pero ¿cómo? O sea, deben de estar equivocados porque no, eso no puede ser posible. Leí y me di cuenta el problema de, de, de la carne en México. Although Alvarez's test yielded a very small amount of clambuterol in his system, that banned substance cost him a six-month suspension a few weeks before his acclaimed rematch against Gennady Golovkin, which would have taken place on May 5th. Eso fue una responsabilidad mía de alguna manera, ¿no? Pero nunca lo hice intencionalmente, nunca hice ni, ni me he metido ni necesito de sustancias prohibidas para que me ayude una pelea. Though the amounts of clambuterol in meat are generally small traces, when taken in repeated dosages, they can benefit an athlete. It helps with the retention of lean muscle mass, so this is what athletes want when they're, when they're training. It opens the air passageways and makes it easier to breathe. It accelerates your metabolic rate. It's a central nervous system stimulant, so it makes you have quicker reaction time. So there are many, many benefits of using clenbuterol for a professional boxer. After his initial positive urine test, Alvarez submitted to a hair follicle test, and it came back negative for clambuterol. The substance can be detected in urine for less than a week after ingested, but it can be found in a hair sample months after. In theory, clambuterol could have entered his system in low amounts through meat consumption, instead of repeated dosages for advantageous purposes, which would have otherwise remained in his body longer. Realmente, después de lo que me pasó, he tenido muchos cuidados, ¿no? Realmente, Demasiados cuidados, creo que extremo, ¿no? Al, al extremo de no comer carne. 